Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I'm going to start in on Christmas cards for the year. Today I've got a series for you of Doodlebug Christmas cards. Very clean, very simple, very easy and quick to put together and don't require a lot of products. So let's dive in. I am starting off using this brick patterned paper and I am going to use that as the base for all four of my cards. Whenever I'm working with a set of cards that I wanna make, I always try and keep some things coherent. Now, I don't know if I've ever made them all have the same base before. For, except for you know like a white base or whatever but as far as a patterned base goes I don't think I've ever done this before so this was kind of a fun little experiment for me the other thing that you're gonna see that's coherent throughout is I'm going to use Santa Claus on all of my cards so I've started things off by fussy cutting this little piece out that says Santa Claus is coming to town. Just cut that out of some patterned paper in the collection. And then I'm going to use that as my sentiment. And I just really liked the shape of it and it actually had this Santa in the sofa chair above him, but I wanted to use a little bit of a bigger one. So I used the one from the odds and ends in this collection. And I'm just attaching that on there. And then I'm going to add some little cookies. This collection is called Milk and Cookies. It's got all those fun, sweet tooth elements to it. And so I thought I would add some cute little cookies onto it. Both of these have fun little smiley faces and just add to the fun whimsical feel of all things Doodlebug, but this little Santa just chilling in his chair there it was just a good fit. And then I'm going to add a little heart sticker from the Cardstock Icons sticker set just down below there. And then that one is done. So there you go. Quick, clean, simple. And here's some close ups for you of how it turned out. I really enjoyed the Santas in this collection and because I had both the sticker sets and the odds and ends, I had lots to work with in order to dive into cards. Now the second one, I'm going to use a sticker for the bottom for my sentiment and then the Santa popping out from behind is again another uh, die cut cardstock piece from the odds and ends and I'm going to pop him up using some 3D foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L just to add a little bit to the whimsy and then I'm going to bring in these Crystal Nouveau drops. Now these ones are clear ones. Most of the ones I have have color but these ones are clear so they work just like any glossy element or anything. So what I did is I just added that on to the little puff at the end of Santa's hat just to bring out a little bit of dimension. And then I'm gonna, again, bring in some little cookies and I'm gonna pop those up also with some 3D foam squares. Um, and I'm just gonna have those kind of going diagonally up across the whole card. And that is it for that one. And you can see I added some yellow on there. You'll see that a little bit at the end. But here's the close-ups. Here comes Santa Claus. Very fun, clean, simple, fast to put together. Card number three. This one, I fussy cut this circle that you're seeing right here with the Christmas tree. I fussy cut that out of some patterned paper. And then I'm actually going to cover up the tree. Once again, because I wanted a bigger one. You could make the little one work if you don't have the odds and ends, but I wanted a bigger one. And I'm going to use another Santa from the odds and ends, and I am going to pop him up this time with crafty foam tape because it's a little bit bigger than the 3D foam squares, so it just saves time on getting it on there and getting it taller. Now you can see I layered him over the top of the Christmas tree and the circle. And then I'm just gonna add a simple sentiment with a sticker down below. And I'm gonna add on a few little embellishments with stickers using some hearts from the sticker set. And that is going to be it. Again, clean, simple, quick. I'm adding a little of the Crystal Nouveau drops to his little puff on the end of his hat. And that is again just a quick clean simple card just by adding some different layers and uh, stickers die cut pieces all those fun things that we love I also decided ultimately to add on some crystal nouveau drops onto the ornaments on the tree again just to make them pop up a little bit and add a little bit of interest when you're working with something simple this is a great way bringing in nouveau drops or enamel dots or um, stickles, that kind of thing is a great way to just add a little bit more to your card. So my final card is going to include Mrs. Claus this time. And what I did is I put on this door with a wreath on it onto the background. And that was just from the odds and ends again. And then I'm going to add on Santa and Mrs. Claus stickers and a little speech bubble that says Seasons Greetings. And you can see like all of these just started as a simple brick base. And I just made them have their own little scenes using stickers, odds and ends, super easy, super fast and fun for the imagination quite quite frankly. Just fun to let go and, and have fun with it. So there's the final close-up on that one. Very simple and easy to approach. 
And then the final thing I'm going to do that I didn't show for each of them because I decided at the end I wanted to do that was just to add some yellow Crystal Nouveau drops. What I'm doing here is I am pulling out that yellow from that star on that tree and I am just adding some little dots of color to, again, just add a little tiny bit of extra um, pizzazz to the whole thing. And you can see, I take a different approach. Some I'm doing little clusters of them, some I'm surrounding other areas, and I'm doing some bigger dots, I'm doing some smaller dots. Now, the only difficulty in this is it's going to require a little dry time. No big deal as long as you plan for that. I just put mine up for the night, and then I came back to take pictures of them in the morning. So there you have it. Four quick, simple, clean, fun, and happy looking Christmas cards using Doodlebug Designs Milk and Cookies. You can check out any of the products that I used in the links down below and be sure to keep an eye out on the channel as I will be back with even more Christmas card series coming up in the next week or so um, and not all with a whimsical feel. I'm gonna have some other pretty classical fancier feeling ones. We will see you again soon. Thanks so much for stopping by today.